Hello friends, I am Tul Sarnagal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn some MCQ multiple choices questions of MS Excel. In the previous video, we learned some questions, some multiple choices questions of Excel. And in this video, we are going to learn more questions and let's start the question first. Question number one. The default row height in MS Excel worksheet is in point. The default row height in MS Excel worksheet is 12.75. 12 12.75 point. The next is which of the following formula is true in MS Excel? We know that MS in MS Excel formula always begins with equal sign. Without using the equal sign, we cannot write any formulas. To begin the formula, equal sign is essential. So the equal sign is in B equal B6 plus C6. That's why the answer is B. Next is Operator used to combine text from two cells into one cell. Join two cell into one cell. What operator is used? Ampersand, equal, space or all of the above. For example, A1. In A1 cell, there is bat. In B1 cell, there is ball. In C1 cell, if you write equal, a1 and B1, then you will get, press the enter, you will get the result B A T bad B A L L ball. So, to make a two, combine two text into a cell, you have to use the operator M percent. When you use M percent sign, then you can combine two cell into one cell. The text of two cell into one cell which is also known as text concatenation. Concatenation means joining together. So the answer is A. M percent sign. M percent sign operator is used to combine text from two cells into one cell. Workbook is the collection of. Collection of worksheet is known as workbook and collection of workbook is known as workspace. That's why workbook is the collection of worksheet. When worksheet is combined together or many worksheet or many groups of worksheet makes a workbook. So when you open Excel file, you will open sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. Sheet 1 is individual worksheet. And when you open Excel file, that means that you open the workbook. So, group of worksheet is known as workbook. Shortcut key to bring format cell dialog box. To bring the format cell dialog box, you have to use Ctrl plus 1. Ctrl plus 1 is used to bring format cell dialog box. Dot .xls is the file extension of .xls is the file extension of MS Excel 2003. .xls on X extended. It means the extension of Excel file 2007. .xlt is the template file of MS Excel. Dot .doc is the document file of 2003, means word file 2003. Dot .docx is the document file of 2007. That's why it, the extension, these are the ext extension of Word and Excel. Dot .dot is the document file 
a template file of MS Word. Template file. Template file. So here the question is dot xls is the file extension of Excel 2003. So the answer is MS Excel. Next question. How do you rearrange the data in ascending or descending order? To rearrange the data either in ascending order or descending order. Either A to Z or Z to A. It means that you can arrange through data sort. When you click data and when you click sort, you will see there either you sort with ascending order or descending order. That is your choice. We can Rearrange the data either in ascending order or descending order from data sort. On the Excel sheet, the active cell is indicated by the active cell is indicated by thick white border. And when you see here, this is the thick white border, and this square is known as fill handle. When you mouse over in the fill handle, you will see their small plus sign which is called thin plus. When the cell is selected, when some cells are selected or when cell is selected, when you mouse over there, it means that you will see her big plus sign. This big plus sign is known as thick plus or doctor sign. Doctor sign. So, the active cell is indicated with thick white border. This is the thick white border. So the answer is a dark white border or thick white border. The next number, ninth number question. The cell labeled F5 refers to F5 refers to in word in Desktop, if you press F5, it means that that is used for refreshing. In MS Word, if you press F5, you will see there go to. But in Excel, it is labeled. The label, the cell labeled F5 means always, always F5. It means alphabet is indicated by alphabets alphabets and row are indicated with numbers so f is the column and 5 is the row that's why the cell level f5 refers to not function key f5 row f column 5 this is incorrect and because row is not indicated with the alphabet and column F row 5. This is the correct answer because F is the column and 5 is row. Or 5 number indicates to row and alphabet indicates to column. Next question. How to display current date and time in MS Excel? To display current time and date means we have to use the function now. This now function is used to display the current date and time. If we have to display only the date, then we use the function today. Today is used to display the current date only. So current date and time is displayed by using the function now. That's why the answer is B. In MS Excel, B7 is to B15 means or indicates cell B7 and B15 only. It is incorrect. Cell B7 through B15. This is the answer. From B7 to B15 indicates that range is indicated with B7 is to B15. That's why cell B7 through B15. The next question in Excel, workspace means. In previous question also, I already said that 
group of worksheet is known as workbook and group of workbook is known as workspace in your question it is asking in excel workspace means group of workbook that's why the answer is c group of workbook is known as workspace third number question which of the following is a popular dos based spreadsheet package popular dos based spreadsheet package is lotus 123 lotus 123 it is a popular dos based spreadsheet package next question the intersection between row or column is known as the intersection between row and column this is known as a cell in excel that's why the intersection between row and column is known as cell that's why a is the answer next question which is a spreadsheet package lotus 123 excel quad pro all of the above lotus 123 is also the spreadsheet package excel is also the electronic spreadsheet package that's why it is also a spreadsheet package quattro pro is also the spreadsheet package that's why all are the spreadsheet package that's why all of the above what is the shortcut key for row height the shortcut key for row height is control 9 control 9 if we press control 9 it is used for row height in ms excel category is written in category is always written in x axis which character fixes row or column whenever you use dollar sign it fixes the row and column in excel dollar a1 it fixes the column 1 a dollar 1 it fixes the row 1 but dollar a dollar 1 it is the known as the absolute cell which fixes both row and column so dollar sign is used to fix row or column next is what is the shortcut key for column height the shortcut key for column height is control 0 control 0 is the shortcut key for column height so thanks for watching the video if you like this video do not forget to subscribe i will upload many videos related to computer fundamental networking operating system then after html and after ms access 2 so if you subscribe the channel then you will get the notification in youtube channel when i upload the video so please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you